Hello and a very warm welcome to Megan and Harry News YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Alex. I hope you're doing well and in a positive mood today. And as predicted, the toxic tabloids have been complaining about Meghan and Harry again. What a surprise. And as predicted, they are not happy about the titles. After their one-year-old daughter was christened on Friday, March 3rd, under the name Princess Lilliput Diana, and how their children officially take on royal titles, and they are being accused of being hypocritical, etc, etc. But just as a reminder, what people don't realise that this happens automatically. This is not a choice. Just as Meghan and Harry were given the titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex, they didn't ask for it, they are given it. They have the right to turn it down, but if they do, nothing, they are automatically given it. So Harry and Meghan didn't choose to use the titles for Archie and Lilibet. They were supposed to be Prince and Princess anyway. They're automatically given those titles due to Harry being son of the King. And to clarify, Charles didn't give them the titles. They became Prince and Princess automatically after the Queen's death. They have the option to turn them down, but by doing nothing, they automatically get them. But as they have stated, they don't want to make that choice for them now. They would rather wait and allow the children to choose for themselves, which is a wise move because why take something away from them that really doesn't make any difference at the moment? They don't want your children to say to you 15 years in the future, why did you choose to remove those titles from me? I would have wanted them. Let them make that choice in the future. Personally, in my opinion, the titles are meaningless and hopefully they will decide in the future that they are their own people and they stand in their own truth and don't need some imaginary title before their name to give them some form of value in the world. But that is their decision and Meghan and Harry have made it clear that they are not making any decision. They will leave it up to them to decide in the future. So technically they are doing nothing. The titles automatically are given to the children. As it says here, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle defend Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet's titles after royal fallout. It's their birthright. Can't argue about blood. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have taken a strong stance on their children's believed rights to their royal titles. The children's titles have been a birthright since their grandfather became monarch. A spokesperson for Harry and Meghan insisted in regard to King Charles taking to the throne following the death of Queen Elizabeth II. This matter has been settled for some time in alignment with Buckingham Palace. The statement obtained by a news publication added, the parents of two do not plan to use the titles in casual conversations or everyday life. It would only be used in formal situations, according to the outlet. Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet's official titles have been updated on the royal family's website, where it lists the children as sixth and seventh in line to the throne. Harry and Meghan received backlash about their kids adopting the names of Prince and Princess. Many royal fans deemed the couple hypocritical for leaving the United Kingdom but still wanting Archie and Lilibet to reap the benefits the titles have to offer. The people complaining about this need to realise that when they complain they are actually complaining about the royal system because it's their system that automatically gives Meghan and Harry's children these titles, they didn't ask for them, they may not even want them, they are given them automatically, so your complaints need to be directed to the firm, because it's them who are giving them the titles. It continues on, King Charles, Queen Consort, Camilla, Prince William and Princess Kate Middleton were all extended an invitation to the intimate ceremony of the christening inside of Harry and Meghan's home in Montecito, Calif. However, not a single royal showed up overseas. Well, that last part says it all, really. Let me know your opinion in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.